Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at a band called Tenga Cavalry that have been sitting on my list for a while ever since I did uh, Uve Uve U uh, by The Who and uh, they were suggested to me and um, they've been sitting on my list since then because I've had loads and loads of Mongolian bands mentioned to me and um, I didn't want to do them all at the same time, I wanted to space them out a little bit. I never knew Mongolian metal or rock was such a big thing, I never knew such music uh, was around until I heard Uva Uva U. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so obviously I hadn't heard of Tenga Cavalry before, so I did a little bit of research and I found that Tenga Cavalry is a heavy metal band formed in March of 2010 uh, and was originally started as a one-man project. Uh, the band originates from Inner Mongolia and Beijing uh, and are currently based in New York State and Texas. As you do. Um, they combine elements of traditional music of Central Asia and music of Mongolia with heavy metal. And yeah, they create a kind of music that is referred to as nomadic folk metal, which is a phrase I've not heard before, but sounds interesting. Uh, the band recorded music uh, for game soundtracks for Civilization VI, which I've heard of before, and Doom Eternal, which I have never heard of. Um, and I do like my games, so I may have to have a look at that. Um, the band itself is named after the ancient Mongolian and Turkic deity Tengri, who is the chief god, as it were. You know, he created all things, and he's like the leader of all the sort of demigods, as it were, like the god of sun, the god of the moon, etc., that sort of thing. So, um, there we go. Now, the track we're going to look at is a track called Cavalry in Thousands. Um, I do have some lyrics here, but there only seems to be like eight lines, and the song is about five minutes long. So, whether that those eight lines are like spread out liberally across those five minutes. I don't know whether the, ver the verse itself might be repeated over and over again. I don't know. Or maybe the track is largely musical. I really don't know. We shall find out. So, I think we'll find out right now and get into the track. So, Cavalry in Thousands by Tenga Cavalry. Let's go. pause it there for a minute. So this is a lot heavier than any of the other Mongolian rock slash metal that I've heard so far. This is much much heavier. Um, this has got much more 
should I say, traditional instruments in it. Like you've got the heavy guitars, you've got the really great sounding drums in the background, but they've also brought in the sort of native sort of Asian and Mongolian instruments um, that um, the other Mongolian bands um, have had. Um, and it sounds amazing. You know, obviously they've got the um, those Mongolian fiddles in there. I've been told by numerous people what they're called, and I keep forgetting the bloody name of the damn things. But you know, they bring such a beautiful sound into the music. Uh, but having the guitars and the drums in there as well, it just adds something else to it. It's really, really good. And obviously, there's that throat singing over the top. Uh, which, as far as I can tell, is actually the same verse repeated over and over again. Um, I mean, obviously, he's singing in a different language. He's singing in Mongolian. Um, but to me, the first time he sang and the second time he sang, you know, listening carefully to the sound of it, it sounds like he's repeating the ver same verse over and over. And the verse itself says, in thousands the cavalry marched on, along with the neighing of horses. Our banner covers the boundless welkin, our drum thunders across the vast earth. With the guidance of mountains from afar, sense the will of great nature, urging our horses like lightning, through rain and storm we ride. And that's it. So essentially, it's, it's just talking about a cavalry marching across land to war using the mountains as like landmarks and guides so they know where they're going and they're basically saying there are thousands of us so whoever we come across better look out essentially you know so um you know there there is a meaning to the song it's not particularly that deep of a meaning because it's only a very short passage of writing but very well executed let's carry on I love that sound.
There we go. Cavalry in Thousands by Tenga Cavalry. Fantastic piece of music. Um, I've mentioned it a couple of times um, in other videos that I really love instrumental music. You know, n no vocals or anything unnecessary. I really love instrumental music. I mean, this, strictly speaking, isn't instrumental music, obviously, because there are a certain amount of you know, lyrics over the top. But for the most part, it is just a purely instrumental piece of music and I love it um, because I love all the different elements that have come together you know you've got your heavy guitars you've got your drums and then you've got the the horse head fiddles which just sounds so beautiful I've said on numerous occasions how much I love the sound of violins and they have a very similar but still very unique sound to them these horse head fiddles they have such a beautiful sound then you had all the other like little sort of guitars and stuff like that all these like traditional mongolian and asian instruments that come together as well and they make such a beautiful sound and you know mixing them all together it just sounds phenomenal and absolutely beautiful piece of music very well executed and by the looks of the video this tenga cavalry is quite a large group of people you know so it's a very very impressive setup it is a Beautiful sound and piece of music. It is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I need to hear some more of their stuff. Um, I mean, the the actual album that this track came off was a track called The Expedition. So it's very possible that the album itself might be a concept album that's telling a story. And this might just be one small chapter in it talking about the armies moving across the lands to whomever their target might be so you know I might get a more rounded view of what the song is about by looking at the rest of the album I don't know but I'm very much like to see the rest of it or hear the rest of it should I say so yeah very very good I very much enjoyed that I, I you know yeah, just the sounds of those horse head fiddles they, they really stick in my mind because they have such a beautiful sound and it's it's a very unique sound and it's a very clearly Asian sound if you know what I mean you hear the sound of that fiddle you immediately associate it with the Asian regions of um, the world and you know such a beautiful sound love it but anyway I'm gonna stop and um, worrying about how beautiful it was um and leave it at that i think so there we go absolutely fantastic loved it brilliant um if anybody'd like to suggest a track for me to react to then please do so by all means you can drop a comment in the comment section below or message me on my facebook or my instagram or even on my patreon uh should you uh, feel the want or need to support me and help me to make these videos in future um it'd be a great help to me that's for sure but it's obviously not necessary um I do know though if you do make a suggestion it might take me or it will take me a while to get around to it um since you know for every video i record i get suggested a dozen more um, so my list grows faster than I can record the videos but I do write down every suggestion I get um, so I will get around to it eventually it will just take me a while to get there um, but I'm always looking to hear new music looking for something interesting so yeah please drop any suggestions you'd like um, also Metalhead React is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, a British-based charity whose main goal is to put an end to hate crimes, specifically those aimed towards people of the alternative subculture, uh, people who listen to alternative music and dress in alternative fashion. Um, something that I strongly believe in, something that I think needs a lot more attention, because you know every single day we hear about all these other hate crimes like uh, racism sexism homophobia transphobia religious hatred you know we hear about these things every single day on like the news social media we hear about them all over the place what we're not hearing enough about is these people who are getting violently attacked because of the music that they listen to you know people are getting beaten really really severely they're getting hospitalized because people don't like the music that they listen to you know, because we listen to heavy metal music we get attacked 
on a daily basis all over the world and it makes no sense you know what what is it about the music that someone listens to that makes them you know a target it makes no sense you know you, d you don't beat someone up or attack someone because they like a different movie to you you don't beat or attack someone because they like different TV shows books magazines crisp flavors ice cream flavors you don't attack people because of those things so why would you attack someone because of the music that they like it's it's mind-bogglingly stupid you know what music someone listens to has no effect on anybody else's life you know the music I listen to has no effect on the life of whoever I live next to, unless maybe I've got my music cranked up to top volume, and then they have every right to be pissed off at me. But it's still not an excuse to attack someone. You know. I can't understand the logic behind it. I don't... I've, I've tried to try and think of a justification for it. You know, for, for a good reason someone could possibly give as to why they've attacked someone because of their taste in music. And I've never been able to come up with one. You know, and so ever since I was like 11 or 12, I've been bullied, I've been picked on, I've been violently attacked by strangers, by people I don't even know, just because of the way I dress and the music I listen to. You know. How I choose to live my life has got no effect on their life whatsoever. You know, if they don't like the clothes I'm wearing, they don't have to look at me. There's an infinite number of directions you can look in. Just don't look at me. It's really simple. If you don't like the music I'm listening to, don't listen to it. I'm not making you listen to it. If you don't like it, that's fine. Everybody's entitled to an opinion. Everybody is entitled to be an individual. But you don't get to say what kind of music I listen to. You know, if someone wants to listen to heavy metal, let them. That's what they want. You have no say in what they do. It's their life. They are an individual. And as long as what they're doing is completely within the confines of the law, you have no right in any way to dictate to them what they can and cannot do. You know, if you don't like it, just ignore it. Leave it alone. But it's not an excuse to attack or beat someone up. But it happens all the time. And when it comes to the point where a young woman gets beaten to death by a group of people, it becomes ridiculous, absurd, disgusting. I mean, no one should lose their life because they like a different kind of music. It's unacceptable that this can happen. And this is the sort of thing the Sophie Lancaster Foundation wants to put an end to. They don't want to see anybody go through what they went through. They don't want anybody else to have to bury their child because of the ignorance and intolerance of everybody else. You know, it shouldn't happen. It should never come to this. And, you know, as I said, I think it's a very important thing that needs to be looked at. It's something that needs more attention. So if you'd like to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to their website in the description below. Yeah, you can pop over there, find out what they're working on, find out what their goal is, because they can explain it better than I can. And if you can help them in any way, something as simple as, you know, one of these Sophie wristbands, or, or you know, even that one, you know, if you can help them in any way, it'll make all the difference. The smallest amount can make the biggest difference and the sooner we bring more attention to this the sooner we can help to stamp out prejudice hatred and intolerance everywhere but i'm going to leave that as it is for the time being thank you all very very much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye bye